This video is brought to you by Professional Photographers of America. One thing that I've noticed is that when I run into you, IRL, the thing that I hear the most is, Manny, I've learned something about lighting or portraits. Those are the two things. And I'll be honest, like I've kind of not focused on that lately because there's just been so many, you know, new camera and lens releases. But it's time to get back to the things that, I don't know, people know me for or, yeah, because that's something that not everybody covers. And that's my, my specialty. So what I'm going to do is talk about the lighting that I use that I can personally recommend. But again, you don't have to buy it because this is just, it works for me. And you're going to see why it works for me. Now, full disclosure, technically I'm sponsored by Westcott, although they're not paying me to make this video. They didn't ask me to make this video. They have no input. I'm just making this on my own. Um, cause I'm, I'm also going to say things that I don't like about it, you know, but technically I'm sponsored by them because I collaborated with them to create the perfect modifier. Behold the 36 inch beauty dish by none other. This is the perfect modifier, perfect for headshots, waist up shots, full body shots. It can do it all. It's the so some of the things that I like about using the Westcott system is, well, let's start off with the flash trigger. This is what you use to control the light wirelessly. This trigger is universal. I can put this trigger on my Sony camera, Canon, Nikon, and I'm able to not only use it, but you also unlock all the features like high speed sync, TTL. The second thing that I like, and I just kind of refer to it, these lights offer features like high speed sync, TTL, rear curtain sync. That high speed sync is, allows you to use any shutter speed you want. So if you want to shoot at one eight thousand of a second because you want to cut down on the ambient lighting, you can do that with this system. It's as easy as just raising your shutter speed and it will automatically just go into high speed sync mode. And there's a sync button here. Just make sure it's on that H with the little, with the little arrow and you're good to go. When you're shooting in a studio, the nice thing about having a light that you can just plug into the wall is that you don't got to worry about battery power. The nice thing about the Westcott lights is that not only is it fully wireless, as you can see here, but in the box, it comes with a charger adapter that also doubles down as an, as, as an AC adapter. So you can plug these into the wall and it's gonna charge it while you're using it, or you can just use it as a regular charger. These lights are 400 watts. You can go up to the number 10 and take advantage of that. And it's got a really strong light, okay? You can go outdoors in, in the full bright sun and you're able to fill in the shadows on a model or whatever it is with a light like this. So it's got plenty of power. It's very versatile. But then you can also go down all the way to one. And if you only need a small amount of light, it's it's pretty, it's, it's, it's not very powerful. And then if you even need less light, it's got a decently powerful modeling light, which is what I'm using right now. I can turn that off and on, and then I can adjust it and go all the way to nine. So you can always use that almost like a, like an LED light. So another thing that I like are the recycle times of these lights. So if you're shooting at a very high power, you're not waiting, you're not sitting there waiting like five, 10 seconds for the thing to recharge like a speed light would. Um, you're gonna be working really fast with them regardless of what power you use. So one thing that actually drew me to these lights was the interface and the color LED screen that we have here. I like that the power, you know, is measured in numbers. So, and I like that it's a color LED panel because not all strobes have that. I've been using these lights for a couple of years now and I've been using them ever since they launched, even before they launched. And I have yet to break one, which is a good thing because I am not the most careful person. I'm, I don't treat my gear with respect. I mean, this trigger is beat to hell. I mean, it's got an even little wobble to it. I don't even have like the little door here, rubber door. It's still kicking. So before I go over the things that I don't like about this system, I do want to give the actual sponsor for this video a shout out, and that's PPA. You might not realize how beneficial it really is to be a member of Professional Photographers of America. And like I've said before, they offer so many benefits like $15,000 worth of equipment insurance that's included with the membership. Along with that, PPA has updated the policy so that you also get full replacement coverage with a flat $350 deductible, or you can repair your equipment for a flat $50 deductible. It's hard to beat. PPA also offers data loss prevention services for its photographers. PPA's education platform has also been upgraded, featuring 900 plus online videos and tutorials. Any two of those things would cost more than the price of the membership 
itself. Seriously, you take a look at the link in the description and use the code for a discount on your membership. The thing that I'm not really a fan of when it comes to using the Westcott system is that if you're a Sony user, you have to buy this adapter. This is an extra expense, it's like 20, 30 bucks, I think, but it's an extra expense. And it's required if you want to use features like high speed sync or TTL. Um, you could use it without it, but again, you're limited into just using it as a basic flash. You're limited by the, the sync speed and everything like that of the camera. I don't like it for one, aesthetics. Aesthetics matter to me. And for me, this makes the setup a lot taller, a lot more bulky than I feel like it has to be. And also if you're using other cameras like I do, I'm constantly losing it, right? Cause it's an extra piece. It's an extra little piece. I got to take it off this trigger and then I put it, you know, I put this one on the Canon and then this gets misplaced and I'm looking for it everywhere. I could see other people having this issue if you shoot multiple brands. Also, this adapter is not very durable. As you can see, the hot shoot mount, it's plastic, it's all plastic, and I've, uh, it's split in two before. Another thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the battery life indicator, not the actual battery life, the indicator. So sometimes this thing will tweak. It'll say one bar. I'll turn it off to try to save battery. I turn it back on, then it has three bars. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe maybe I'm good then, you know, and sometimes it'll be three bars or four. And then all of a sudden it'll drop to two or, you know, it's just, it's very inconsistent. The actual in the, the indicator. So sometimes it's hard to gauge, like, do I have enough battery or not? This system does not only consist of the FJ 400. You can buy other lights like this little tube light here. This is a 200 watt light. It's very small, very portable. They also have a round head speed light called the FJ 80. It has a touchscreen which is kind of unique. Westcott hasn't been in the lighting game for that long, so I understand. But a company like Godox is going to give you like a million options, right? You have different kinds of speed lights. You have different kinds of 200 lights. You got a 100 light, a 400, a 600, one that's over 1,000. They have so many different options and price points that I'm going to have to say, you know, that's a pro of being a Godox user is that you can find a light for almost anything that you need in terms of power range you know it's it's very versatile but at the same time there have been very few moments where i feel like i need more power than what this can give me yeah i wish i had more power sometimes in the other studio where there's a lot of natural light and i want to darken things up really kill the natural light sometimes when i'm in the studio i'm using the the projector attachment the Lindsay Adler one that kills the power output of this thing so then yeah i wish i had more power but for anything outdoors on the brightest day you're going to be able to, you know, overpower the strong sun and fill in the shadows. And it's the perfect balance. It's like that perfect range. That's what I've been trying to say this whole time, but I keep ranting. Also, I wanted to show you the Godox 8400. Um, it is a little bit more compact than the FJ 400. So this is also a really great option. I cost about the same price. And again, features and pros and cons, it's all give or take. It's a bunch of back and forth when it comes to these lights, man, but light, is light. If you shoot Godox, you shoot Westcott, whatever the case is, I'm literally sitting here happy that you're using light and you're, you know, learning light because this is a learning light is very, very powerful and can quickly elevate your photography. But I just, I love the all in one nature of this light. I find that the color accuracy is pretty good. Uh, I rarely ever get misfires, which is also important. So anyways, rant is over all right i'm not gonna ask you to subscribe i'm not gonna ask you to do anything the only thing i'm gonna ask you to do check out my beauty dish okay seriously look how sexy it looks first of all see this thing it acts as a beauty dish acts as you can use it as a regular softbox you know if this thing could talk though it'd probably curse me out right now for throwing it but uh you know again i just have to show how durable it is i mean it, it really is. It's going to last you a long time. And this is a very high quality product right here. Woof. Sexy. Okay. Anyways, I'm out.